One of the most important aspects of digital marketing is social media content management. And with so many different options and tools out there, using Google spreadsheets just isn't going to cut it anymore. And that's why I'm gonna be showing you how to improve your social media content management in Asana by showing you one of the many options that you can use to up-level your content management. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Marky. I'm the founder of Surface, an Asana partner and consultancy. And I make videos like this every single week to help you get the most out of your Asana. So if you're new or if you've been watching for a while and you haven't yet, please like this video. That's step one. Then you're gonna subscribe to this channel and then you're gonna hit the notification button so you never miss a video update. Let's get into the demo. Now, in this case, we've just built out a really simple project. This could be a template if you want to because all the rules and automations are, are baked into it, but we have our Feb to March uh, content calendar here. So if we look at it, this in the list view, we have our content planning section, we've got content creation, approval, and then content scheduling. So what I'll do for a second is just switch over to the workflow uh, builder right here so you can see exactly what's happening behind the scenes. Within the content planning stage, we have one trigger here. So that's, you know, when a new task is added, we create a task for a new social media post, right? A few things are gonna happen. It's gonna create a subtask here where the individual has to define the scheduling date and time. So that's our, really our first step. When is this post going out? What time is it going out? And then who is it assigned to? And obviously it's the individual um, making those updates. Then it will move it to the content planning stage where it will sit, it'll set the assignment is the person that we want to set here and then it will set the content status as ready to start moving to the next stage we have our content planning so the next trigger we'll look at is it moves it to in progress now in the content creation stage and then it's adding a couple subtasks for us here one is to create the copy for this social media post and then it's creating the graphics as well for said social media post and so what's important to note is that for any of the content we're creating the best practice is to have all of the content you're creating inside of the parent task we want anyone to be able to go into that parent task see exactly what's going on and know what stage we're at because we can see all of these cascading subtasks that are coming off of it. So I'm not gonna go through all of this. I think you get the picture, but we have triggers and then we have actions, right? So in, in every case, um, a trigger will either move the task, the parent task to the next stage, but it may also add a layer of subtasks or approvals, right? And so that's how we've we've built it out in this case. So let's go back to our board view and let's just test it out. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna add a task and this could be donut, I don't know social post i have donuts on the brain for today so there we go our automations run we've got uh, it's ready to start it's been assigned to an individual and then the first stage that we have to take this through is define uh, our scheduling date and time so this is going to go out on uh, wednesday at let's call it 1 30 p.m there we go it's for tomorrow but we're we're doing it anyway so then we're going to move it to the content creation stage another automation is going to run it's going to update it with our our next steps here so now you can see we're in progress we've got two not graphics subtasks so let's just assume now we've created our copy right copy here and then we can say graphic here we got our graphics feeling really good about it let's move it to the approval stage and let's see what happens so here we go moving to approval and you're going to see we're going to switch from in progress to for review right and so again i wish that asana would exclude weekends when it comes to creating subtasks and approvals because no one's going to be approving this on the weekend if anyone on the product team is watching please we got to make that change that would be awesome so now we're going to go in this person would have gotten this task and of course we can do so much more with this right we can add comments here that asana would generate to say hey go and approve the content in the parent task so then we come up here we go through it we're now able to add our feedback change this color i don't know what it would be and then you know our colors now changed great it's done awesome i love it let's approve this stage now we move it through to our content scheduling and we'll see we're going to get another subtask and now we know that it's ready to schedule so we can now schedule the post for tomorrow which is saturday which is not going to work for us so let's move that to tuesday post is now scheduled and when we do that we can move it then to the archive stage as well where we'll automatically complete said task for us and now it's going to switch from ready to schedule to completed What's really nice about this too is we've created a dashboard for you here as well where 
any you know tasks that are on the board you can see the status at a high level so ready to schedule completed ready to start you can see the different channels or locations that those posts are going to because we have a channel custom field where seven of them or four of them are going to Facebook three of them are going to Instagram and we can see what stage and how many tasks we have in each stage so there's so much information that you can gather from this and you can customize this however you want to but I may be a bit biased in saying so but if you haven't already done it I highly recommend subscribing to our newsletter all systems go each week we deliver the latest news blog posts and even free resources on Asana and workflow optimization directly to your inbox the best part it's totally free it's the perfect resource you're looking for to improve your system building skills and productivity through process improvements. All Systems Go is designed to be your go-to guide in navigating workflow optimization, especially if you're new to it. Click the link below to subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this. Again, this is one of the many options. That's what I love about Asana. It's a big empty box. You can do whatever you want with it, but this is one of the ways that me and my team use Asana to manage our own social media publishing and scheduling as well. So if you found this helpful, like this video. If you haven't already, and you've got some value from this, please subscribe to the channel because it's through people like you sharing, liking, subscribing that we're able to reach more users who need to up-level their Asana. Thanks again for watching as always, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.